What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Sentinel series Marvel Legends Angel figure. This is the blue variant. Um, this was the variant. Uh, the red version was the, uh, the original release, and this being the variant, obviously. <laughs> um, but uh, this is the uh, Toy Biz version of Angel. We haven't gotten a uh, Hasbro version of Angel except for uh, Archangel, uh, which is a different version of Angel. This is the, uh, um, I guess you could call it original. Oh no, well we, get, we did get the, uh, I, I take that back. We did get the uh, the, the uh, first appearance box set, but I, I mean like a, uh, a more, I guess, uh, uh, modern look. Like we haven't gotten this look for Angel from Hasbro. Um, I don't think we ever will, to be honest with you, since this has already been done. There's kind of no point to being uh, redoing it again. Anyway, um, so I retract that previous statement. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, he does include the uh, left leg of the Sentinel, which is a key piece. Um, really gives this uh, <laughs> this uh, action figure set a uh, some some weight to it, especially with the wings too. Um, but this is, uh, as we all know, this was back in the uh, the good old days, as I like to call it, where you would get a display stand, a comic, your bath piece, and the uh, action figure with his accessories. Um, so, on the back you have uh, the other figures in the wave. Sorry for the glare. Let me just move my light in here. It's a little bit better. You have uh, Cyclops, um, first appearance Spider-Man. You have Angel, Mystique, Omega Red. Black Panther and Mr. Sinister. Really, just a, a really nice wave. Um, solid wave all around. I actually just picked up Omega Red. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it. It was 25. He was 25 for him, so that's a pretty good deal. He usually goes for her around 40, 45 uh, min on card. I got him for 25. Um, so. That's a pretty good deal. So all I would really need to get is uh, the bath piece because I, already, I do already have uh, him. I just need to get the bath piece for him and the bath piece for Black Panther, and then I would be all done. I'll have I'll have a full Sentinel. I should have a full Sentinel by then. So with that being said, um, here is uh, his little read up. I have some serious glare. There we go. There is. Uh, God, I still have Claire. This is being a pain in the rear end today. Um, there is his little read up. If you want to pause it, you can. Those are his uh, his little power grid. I used to love when they gave us these power grids for some reason. It just brought me back to the old uh, um, Marvel uh, the Marvel uh, trading card days from um, I can't remember who did it. Um, there was a couple there. I believe there was Toy Biz did one um, That was the different series. I actually have that whole set and there was another series I can't remember who did the other one though. If you know let me know in the comments below But let's get Angel out of package not waste any more time be right back Okay, and we're back with Angel out of packaging and he looks absolutely awesome uh, I'm so glad I, I picked this guy up and uh Got a good deal on him. Um, picked this guy up from Big Fun in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, if you haven't checked out my haul video, so I'm just uh, repeating it, kind of uh, uh, trying to give them, uh, you know, some sort of uh, name face, if you want to call it that. Uh, so if you're ever in the Columbus uh, area, go check out Big Fun. It, it was uh, exactly the title, Big Fun. There's so many toys in there, uh, so many collectibles throughout the years. Um, yeah, so definitely check that place out. So a little plug there, but um, yeah, this is a just a fantastic figure. Toy Biz just did a really just great job on this figure, especially with the wings. The wings are so beautifully detailed. Um, just nice detail all around with this figure. Great shading. Um, really, really do like this guy a lot. Um, you can definitely get him to any type of flying pose you want. I just kind of have him in this takeoff pose, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, but he does also include this uh, figure flight stand right here, which uh, just plugs right back in. There's a, a peg hole right into his back and it fits right into there. Um, it's a shame that they um, we, we could never, uh, the, the holes on his feet weren't uh, big enough for the, for the peg on here. It would have been so cool to uh, kind of display that and I don't think anybody's ever pointed this out before it would have been so cool to uh, or maybe somebody has and I just haven't seen it to um, let me just get this off 
to plug his foot in here and then really have him in a, a, a tall flight pose. So kind of like going like this, just pegging him in right here, like so. And then you would have a really nice flight for him. But I mean, you can um, obviously, I have seen people flip these around and have them go the other way for a different type of flight look for wings. But I think this is the more natural look for him. Um, having the wings going the correct way. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this, this figure looks absolutely awesome. Um, like I said, great detail on him. Looks um, absolutely amazing. He's a little bit back heavy, and by a little bit, I mean a lot back heavy. So he's kind of tough to stand. Um, I'm probably only going to have him use his flight stand, to be honest with you. But really, that's what you want Angel to be doing. I mean, I have my Archangel set up in my 90s X-Men display, and he's pretty much on a uh, flight stand, too. So, I mean, that's what this guy really does. He, he flies around, so... Uh, Mr. Worthington. Mr. Worthington here. Warren Worthington. Um, but yeah, he's, he's going to be really tough to stand unless you take the wings off, but why would you ever want to take the wings off? That's <laughs> kind of who he is. So, um, really, just, um, just going to get in close and show you some of the detail before we get to our articulation and stuff like that. Just really amazing detail and shape, paint shading going throughout. There's actually some... Um, yellow almost looks goldish but more I guess it would say more of like a bronze mustard e type uh, lines going throughout to kind of give it that um, like maybe sunlight's hitting it or um, just like a blonde feature to it the wings it's very nice and it goes throughout each of the the crevices here in between each little feather so it, it really gives a nice uh, eye-popping feature to the wings themselves it really does look nice um, and obviously there's the black shading going throughout and they're also textured very nicely as well so very well done on that like I said I'm just gonna show you the whole wing as you can see here really just great job in this it's just too bad that the other Angel, I'll do some size comparisons with the other versions of Angel uh, in a second, but um, um, there's a lot of nice paint shading going throughout here, nice paint detail with the, uh, the transitional white into a lighter blue and then the darker blue. Pretty nice, uh, very nice job by Toy Biz. Um, the face, face looks pretty good. Don't have a problem with the face. Eyes are aligned properly. Um, there's some paint detail in the hair to give it some uh, shading in the hair. Looks good. Um, as far as his articulation goes, his head does move side to side and it can do a full 360 if you want it to. Um, it's on a, a ball peg hinge, so his head does look all the way back, so you can really get him in some really great flying poses. And his head does look down, so if you want to kind of have him coming down, landing, you could also do that. Um, he does have a ball socket hinge joint here at the elbow, so the elbow does go up about that far. Great range of motion there in the, in the, uh, the elbow. The shoulder, excuse me. <laughs> I always do that. It looks as if there's a sh shoulder socket hinge here, but mine is frozen on both sides and I don't really think it's supposed to move. Maybe it is and it's just mine, but it is there. It looks like it's there. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He's got the glove swivel, um, no um, wrist swivel because he's got the glove swivel, so that makes sense, that's fine. Uh, wrist hinge and uh, finger articulation, but they're not individual fin finger articulation. Um, he does have a nice ab crunch, which ratchets forward nicely and back, and everything's nice and stiff. No loose joints on this guy. He's got the waist swivel, T-jointed hips, which go out, forward, and back nicely. Upper thigh swivel, double-jointed knees, boot swivel, ankle hinge that goes forward and back, toe articulation, and doesn't really have an ankle pivot. So... Um, so there you go. No ankle pivot, but the rest of him 
is pretty well done. And he also has the wing articulation, which should have been given to the box set Angel. My wing is not all the way in, there we go. So there you go, there's all of his articulation. Um, like I said, just a great figure. A um, lot of paint apps going throughout him. There's some black shading on his thighs here. A little bit on his on his uh, biceps. There's a little bit of a transitional black shading here, and then there's uh, some blue shading as well on his on his toes. So very nicely done. His angel symbol is pretty crisp looking. Looks good. Nothing wrong there. And. Uh, so yeah, so pretty cool. The other thing he comes with is the comic, is uh, X-Men number five. Um, I have never read this, so I probably will read it, but it does come with the comic. And here is the other, the final piece that he comes with is the leg of Sentinel. And it's pretty big, so I mean, here's Angel compared to the leg of the Sentinel. He did a really good bang up job on this Sentinel, but um, can't wait to finally get one, finally. Um, <laughs> but uh, hold tight guys and I'll be right back with some size comparisons. Okay, and we're back with the other Angel figures. Um, obviously we have the Hasbro Archangel and the Hasbro First Appearance Angel here. And as you can see, there's huge differences here, night and day differences between this guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, obviously all three versions are different um, in their own way. Um, I kind of wish that this guy had his wings and the articulation for the wings. Uh, and this would have been uh, and a better head sculpt, obviously. And this would have been a great, great figure. Uh, obviously, they went the cheaper route, which is unfortunate. But um, uh, I don't know. If I had to rate uh, out of the three to get, I would say probably... Ooh, this is a tough one. It's a toss-up between these two. I think they're pretty much even. I don't think one is better than the other. They're different versions of each other, so I would say that they're both great figures. And then I would say probably this one is the third best. Um, but I would say pretty much a tie between these two, so maybe he's a second best if you want to call it that. But as far as uh, height goes, I'll just try and take them down from their individual... Um, flight stands here. Actually, I'll just do the first appearance because it's the other Archangel is pretty much the same. I'm just doing it for a height aspect. So they're pretty much close to being the same height. So they're they're very much in scale with each other. Don't have a problem there. Um, so there you go. There's your size comparison. Um, like I said, uh, this or the Archangel, either version of the X Force one or the uh, traditional one. Uh, I kind of prefer the traditional one over the X Force one. That's just me, my personal preference, um, because of the '90s. Archangel, but uh, still a great figure. Uh, the other angel, eh, not so much. But uh, this guy, an awesome pickup. I would definitely give this two thumbs up, way up. There they are. And uh, say, absolutely, if you don't have this guy and you're on the fence, you're like, ah, oh, I kind of don't know if I want to get him. Uh, I, I'd say this blue version, for me, it just, it, I, I, I'm probably going to get the red version too. I, I say either version you can get, awesome, go get him. Uh, like, like I said, you get so much stuff with him, you get a flight stand, you get everything you need with this guy to display him and display him properly. So, sorry for such a long review. I know I normally keep it around 10 minutes, uh, but I had a lot to say about this guy and it's a great figure. Go pick him up, like I said, two thumbs way up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.